come check out what I found at Tuesday morning and Joanne's yesterday. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehook. I found more yarn. Isn't this fun? I went shopping. Accidentally turned into the turned into the stores. Oh well. My car automatically goes to those parking lots anyway. I went to Tuesday morning. Or we went to Tuesday morning and Joann's and then I always have to make a pit stop at Walmart for some reason. So I've got quite a few miscellaneous fun things. Been trying to go a little bit off uh, a little bit off lately with trying to use things that I haven't been using that I haven't used before or that I haven't used in a really long time you get kind of stuck in a in a rut of always using the same colors or always using the same yarn and I'm trying to be different with my designing right now so here we go this is from Joann's and this is Red Heart Soft Essential Stripes I have never used the Soft Essentials. Obviously, everybody's used Red Heart at some point. If you have, if you've ever bought yarn, you probably have bought Red Heart. But I don't know the Soft Essentials. And this is Purple Rain Stripes. And they were on a major sale. So we got six of them. My, my uh, little girl, Evie, her favorite color is purple. And it's been purple for a while now. So we got a whole bunch of purple and make her something. I'm not sure what. But it's something for Evie is going to happen out of this one. And these are, they're calling this a five bulky. It's a little, it probably is, it's almost there. It doesn't seem as bulky as most fives. And they want me to use a six and a half hook. So I'll, I'll can go with that. But these are really nice and soft. It's 100% acrylic. And they're giving me, how much is in here? 110 yards. So these are just little. But they're really soft. So I know I can make something soft and something that she's going to love. And of course, her favorite color is purple. So we got a whole bunch of them since they were on a major sale. Major sale. So there's six of those. What else is it? Oh, what else is in the bag? What else did I find at Joann's? I found some clearance. Who would have thunk? It's not clearance season. Derek found these. These were on, made. These were a major clearance. These were like more than half price, I think. This is Burnett Symphony. It is a five bulky, very thick, and this one's called Granite. So it's black and gray. I don't even think it gets to any whites. It's just the light gray, dark gray, kind of a silver and a black in there. This is just amazing. 80% acrylic and 20% wool. We got, we had, they had three, so we got all three, and this one's called Granite, 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 yeah, they all match, so hopefully I have enough with 300 yards, 309 yards on each one of these to make at least some kind of a little fun throw, because it's wool, and I want it to be nice and toasty warm. So we got three of those, and that's a Burnett Symphony. Again, I haven't used this one. I've used Burnett product before, but I have not used this particular one. So we're going to give it a try. I'm trying to be different. Trying to be better. This one I kind of caved on though. I love cupcake. This is Lion Brand Cupcake. I love cupcake. So they had these on clearance. I've used this product before but I, I, had, to, I had to have it. And this one is called Cherry Blossom. Look at those great colors. I've got six of them. I'm going to make something fun. I really like working with this product. It's nice and soft. It's a three, it's a light three, so it's a little thinner than than the the normal stuff, I guess. And I get 590 yards on each one of these. So there's a lot of yarn here to make something really big out of these six. So I had to go for it. I just had to. And they were on clearance. They're over half price. It was the only one that was clearance was this cherry blossom. I'm not sure why, because the colors sure are pretty. But they want to clear things out. I'll do it. Fine by me. And then I have these ones. And I haven't worked with these before. But they have a special project coming. 
and this is the buttercream Lux craft angel hair this one is pumpkin I have two of those and this one should just be white angel hair white got two of those and this one is light blue they just called it light blue they were very creative but there's just a really nice happy happy baby blue but these two right here have a project and this has a project that have been requested by my my Evie who loves hats so I have a hat coming out of both of these because she keeps asking me it's hard to even keep up with her hats she wants so many she loves all hats and this is a five bulky and it's fuzzy a halo it's all fuzzy so this will be interesting to work with once a six and a half millimeter hook I could pull that off might even go a little bit bigger just because it's so fuzzy and so thick but this is a five bulky 110 yards on each one and I know this is enough to finish the projects that she's requested so again pumpkin white and light blue from Joann's and I think that's all my Joann's that was all my Joann's today so it's just a little pit stop and then we stopped by getting other things really quick I had to grab Really quick, I had to grab three more puzzle for continuation on my personal virus blanket that I've been working on. And this is what color I'm using is the Premier Puzzle, and this is called Crossword. So it's just a whole bunch of fun shades of uh, beige and brown all swirled together, and it's great. And my cat already found them. She smushed them all because she slept on it because it's so soft. I got three more of those so I can make a few more rounds on my virus blanket. You'll have probably seen my virus blanket. I love that blanket and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I found three more skeins so I'm so excited. And this is one of the newer things that they have at Walmart. It's their the mainstays, but it's 100% cotton. Just nice, soft cotton. I haven't used it before. It's a four medium. Just a nice cotton. Wants a five millimeter hook, and how much do they give me? 100% cotton is nice. Oh, why can't I find it? There's 180 yards. This is a little ball. 180 yards. Very cost effective. On that one, it's not extremely expensive, and it's just a nice cotton. So I've got four different colors. Oh, five colors. There's a white. Got two grays. Let's see. And pink. And pink. And brown. Okay, let's see though. This one I'm sure is just called white. Arctic white. So it's very, very white. Very bright. Very soft little tiny bit shiny I like it and this one is opal oh, opaline green kind of a little sea foam green pastelli very very soft very lovely and this one is 100% cotton where's your color keep missing it soft silver this is a really light gray again I hadn't worked with these before I'm trying to go Trying to go off the board a little bit. And since they're so easy to find, because I was at Walmart anyway, I decided I'm gonna try their cotton. Because I got a lot of cotton from um, Hobby Lobby's. I love this cotton, so I'm gonna compare the two and see which one I like better. Because it's just work go going into spring and summer. Cotton is a good thing. And this one is called Day Lily Pink. Just a really light, kind of a soft, dusty pink. Of course, I'm going to get pink if it's available, right? Got three of those. And then these ones, I've already I already pulled out some. We'll start to play with this one a little bit. This one is called Brownstone. And it's just a, like a khaki. So pretty basic colors and 100% cotton and a very good price at Walmart. So stop by and check it out. It's a really nice product. I already played with that one a little bit just to give it a try. And I already like it haven't even done much with it but I already like it. 
Okay, again, this is stuff from Tuesday morning. You never know what you're going to find there. This one is called Kaleidoscope. I have something like this in a very different color. This one is called Twinkle Star. Oh, isn't that a cute name, Twinkle Star? It's a five bulky, so it's nice and thick. Nice and thick and fun, and I get 203 yards of a five weight, of a five bulky. So that's kind of a lot. Usually those are way smaller, way smaller skeins. And they want me to use, they're suggesting a six and a half to a nine millimeter. That hook, that is kind of a big range. But definitely want to use upwards of an eight or a nine on this. But these are fun colors. Twinkle Star. And they had five of them. Don't know what I'm going to make with it, but if it's called Screams Out to you and says make make me into this, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'm in design mode right now, so I would love to hear if anybody has any ideas or any requests. I would really love to hear about it. So put that one back. Move off to the side just a smidge. Now we've seen this one before, the Hook Nook. Hook Nook Yummy. And this is just their pink. I've found this one before. It is a five bulky weight. 80% acrylic, 20% wool, but it's really, really soft. It's not scratchy at all. And they're giving me, how much is there here? Let me use. There it is, 185 yards. So this is again pretty big for for a five weight. There's a pretty lot in here. And again, these are just they're at least at least half price from suggested retail. Often at Tuesday morning, it's even even more. It's like 60, 70, 80 percent off. So I've never had this stuff before. I found these colors at. Tuesday morning, but now I have a whole bunch of this pink and I really like it. And of course it's pink, but it's not my fault they made it pink. I like it. So I found two more to add to my stash of other ones that I have just like it that you've seen on different yarn haul. And this one is of Euro Baby Babe Jazz. It's a three light. Yep, it's a three lightweight. 300 Six, 356 yards in each one of these. That's a lot. It's just, they, I like it. There's just a lot in there. And they want me to use a four and a half or a five and a half millimeter hook. But if this looks kind of familiar, I used a different color scheme of this one to make my big flower that was hanging off of my flapper hat. That one was more pastel-y and I think that one was called Carnival. This one is called Rocky Road. So you can tell these are all just kind of shades of earth tones, grays and browns and, and things. So I can do something very fun with this. But they're suggesting a four and a half to a five and a half millimeter. I used a two and a half millimeter on this and it worked just fine. So if you have the chance to work with this, it is a lovely product. It is half, poly half polyamide and a half acrylic. So. That doesn't mean a whole lot to me. It's not cotton or anything like that. It's amazingly soft and it works up really nice. It doesn't snag. I, I really had good luck with it when I was making my big flower. So let's see what we can come up with this one. These were pretty amazing. Suggested retail on this is like $15. I would never pay $15 for something I'd never used before. But at Tuesday morning, I got it for about 70% off of that. So I'm way better with that than just guessing. Because these are 100% wool. This is Ella Ray Chunky Merino Superwash. And Ella Ray, I guess. And this is Ochre Heather. Looks like a copper color to me. This color was awesome. I know it looks, I know it looks very odd to me. But maybe that's why they had it there that day because it's not a spring color. So I've got I've got a little bit of a stash now for fall, and I just love this one. This one just jumped out at me so much with this ochre heather color. It looks coppery, it's got a little bit of a shine to it, and I love it. And I found four, 136 yards of wool in each one of these, so that was really fun. 
This other one, Derek found these ones too. He found, actually found both of these, but I love this color. He liked this one, so we got them both. This one is the El Array DK Merino Superwash. 100% wool, but they get 260 yards, so you can see that they're way bigger than this one is. They're way bigger, twice as big. Yep, almost twice as big. This one is called Tumbleweed Heather. You can see these ones had a little bit of harder life. Oh, they needed a home. They've definitely been um, been looked at and probed. The poor things are all coming apart, but they're not in knots. They're just not as pretty as they should be. So they had to come live at my house and they will be turned into something gorgeous. And again, this was Tumbleweed Heather. So it's a little bit of a like kind of kind of an umber color. If you remember back to your Crayola, Crayola crayon box, it's kind of that raw umber or one of those kind of colors. And again, they want me to use a five and a half millimeter hook. It's a three light. This is a light three weight. They both are. And this one you just get a lot more. So this is way more. I have five of these in the tumbleweed heather. Five of these and four in the ochre. So we can do some, we can make something really big and toasty warm out of this. It's 100% wool. So you can't go wrong, but that's everything. It was a busy day. It was a busy day. Um, so we went to Walmart and got a, just a few fill-in things. Um, found some clearance and some great sales at Joann's and you never know what you're going to get at Tuesday morning. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on not notifications and stop back again soon because I've got some great stuff coming up. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.